Get ready to embark on a thrilling journey as we unravel the top 10 mind-blowing differences between us, Homo sapiens, and the enigmatic Neanderthals. From jaw-dropping physical divergences to brain-busting cognitive disparities, this adventure through the corridors of time promises to reveal the secrets that make us uniquely human. Buckle up for a roller coaster of evolutionary revelations. It's time to explore the awe inspiring contrasts that define who we are. Neanderthals possessed distinctive physical features, and one notable trait was their relatively larger eyes compared to contemporary Homo sapiens. This ocular difference is believed to have given Neanderthals a unique advantage in adapting to various environmental conditions, particularly low light settings. The larger eyes of Neanderthals likely allowed for increased light absorption, enhancing their vision in dimly lit environments such as twilight or dense forests. This adaptation suggests that Neanderthals were well equipped for activities during reduced sunlight, potentially giving them a hunting or foraging advantage during dusk or dawn. The evolutionary significance of larger ease in Neanderthals also raises intriguing questions about their behavioral patterns and daily activities. It is plausible that their enhanced low-light vision contributed to successful navigation, social interactions, and resource acquisition in challenging lighting conditions. This adaptation underscores the complex interplay between environmental factors and the anatomical evolution of different hominid species, shedding light on the unique strategies employed by Neanderthals to thrive in diverse habitats. Studying these features not only enriches our understanding of Neanderthal biology, but also offers insights into the broader scope of human evolution and the ecological niches occupied by our ancient relatives. Neanderthals, our ancient relatives, possessed a noteworthy ability to endure pain, surpassing the pain threshold observed in contemporary Homo sapiens. Recent archaeological and skeletal analyses suggest that Neanderthals exhibited resilience to injuries and discomfort that far exceeded expectations. Fossil evidence reveals instances of fractures and ailments that, in modern humans, would likely cause significant pain and impairment. The intriguing aspect lies in the Neanderthals not merely enduring these challenges, but thriving despite them. This heightened pain tolerance is believed to be an adaptive advantage shaped by the demanding environments Neanderthals inhabited. Their survival, often reliant on navigating harsh terrains as skilled hunters, necessitated a robust ability to endure injuries without being debilitated. Genetic studies further propose that the Neanderthal's DNA harbored variations in pain-related genes, potentially contributing to their altered perception of pain. Additionally, communal living structures and collaborative social dynamics within Neanderthal groups may have facilitated mutual support allowing individuals with an elevated pain threshold to contribute significantly to the collective resilience of their communities. The Neanderthal's extraordinary capacity to withstand pain unveils a fascinating chapter in our shared evolutionary history, challenging assumptions and prompting a re-evaluation of the factors that shaped their unique survival strategies. Neanderthals likely possessed a unique set of vocal characteristics due to anatomical differences in their vocal anatomy compared to modern humans. Recent studies suggest that Neanderthals had a distinct arrangement of the vocal tract, including the shape and position of the larynx, which could have influenced their vocal capabilities. One notable feature was a low, elongated hyoid bone, which supports the larynx and tongue muscles and is crucial for vocalization. This anatomical disparity implies that Neanderthals may have had a deeper and more resonant voice compared to contemporary Homo sapiens. The structure of their vocal cords and the overall configuration of the vocal tract 
likely contributed to a distinctive sound production, possibly resulting in a deeper and more guttural vocal quality. Although the exact nature of Neanderthal communication remains speculative, these anatomical distinctions suggest that their vocalizations may have differed significantly from the speech patterns of modern humans. Understanding these differences in vocal anatomy provides valuable insights into the auditory world of our ancient relatives and adds depth to our exploration of the evolution of human communication. Neanderthals are believed to have had a distinct skin color compared to modern humans, exhibiting lighter tones that likely played a crucial role in their adaptation to various environments. The evolutionary development of Neanderthals occurred over hundreds of thousands of years, during which they inhabited regions with varying levels of sunlight. This environmental diversity likely influenced the pigmentation of their skin. The lighter skin tone of Neanderthals is thought to be an adaptation to low light conditions prevalent in some of the geographic areas they inhabited. With lighter skin, Neanderthals can efficiently absorb sunlight, which is essential for the synthesis of vitamin D in the skin. Vitamin D is crucial for bone health and overall immune system function. In regions with reduced sunlight, having a paler complexion allowed Neanderthals to maximize their ability to produce this vital nutrient, ensuring their survival in environments with limited access to sunlight. This adaptive trait reflects the remarkable ability of organisms to undergo evolutionary changes in response to their surroundings. Neanderthal's lighter skin color is an example of how natural selection favored genetic variations that conferred advantages in specific ecological niches. As Homo neanderthalensis spread across diverse habitats, their ability to optimize vitamin D production through lighter skin pigmentation likely contributed to their resilience in challenging environments. The study of Neanderthal genetics, including analysis of ancient DNA, has provided valuable insights into our shared evolutionary history. It suggests that while Neanderthals and modern humans share a common ancestor, subtle genetic differences arose as each population adapted to its unique environment. The lighter skin tone of Neanderthals serves as a fascinating aspect of their evolutionary legacy, highlighting the complex interplay between genetic adaptation and environmental pressures over millennia. As researchers continue to unravel the mysteries of our ancient relatives, the story of Neanderthals remains a captivating chapter in the larger narrative of human evolution. The Neanderthals, an extinct hominid species that lived in Eurasia from around 400,000 to 40,000 years ago, exhibited social structures distinct from those of modern humans. While our understanding of Neanderthal social organization is limited, archaeological evidence and studies suggest some key differences. Neanderthals likely lived in small, kin-based groups of extended families, a social structure that contrasts with the more complex and larger social networks of Homo sapiens. These close-knit communities were essential for survival in the harsh environments they inhabited, fostering cooperation and mutual support. Regarding communication, Neanderthals are believed to have had a complex language system, although the extent and sophistication remain unclear. Their reliance on non-verbal communication such as body language and gestures, might have differed from the intricate linguistic capabilities of Homo sapiens. The Neanderthal tool-making and hunting strategies also reflect a different approach to resource utilization. They primarily hunted large game and utilized simple tools, indicating a focused and adapted lifestyle compared to the diverse strategies employed by Homo sapiens. Overall, the Neanderthal social structure was likely characterized by smaller, closely knit groups with distinct communication methods and specialized survival strategies, distinguishing them from the more intricate societies developed by modern humans.
Neanderthals possessed a robust and heavily muscled physique that set them apart in terms of strength and endurance. The Neanderthal skeletal structure, characterized by a stocky build with shorter limbs, suggests adaptations to a cold climate and an active lifestyle. Studies examining their fossilized remains indicate pronounced muscle attachments, particularly in areas like the arms, legs, and trunk, indicating powerful musculature. These anatomical features suggest Neanderthals were well-suited for activities requiring strength and endurance, such as hunting large game, traversing challenging terrains, and maintaining physical resilience in harsh environmental conditions. The enhanced muscle mass of Neanderthals not only contributed to their physical prowess, but also hinted at a lifestyle shaped by the demands of survival. Engaging in activities like spear thrusting, close-range combat with formidable prey, and endurance-based pursuits would have been facilitated by their muscular build. While the Homo sapiens lineage, to which modern humans belong, might have excelled in other cognitive and technological aspects, the Neanderthal's superior muscular strength likely granted them a distinct advantage in certain physical endeavors. This unique adaptation showcases the fascinating diversity in human evolution and highlights how different hominid species developed specific characteristics to thrive in their respective environments. While it is true that Neanderthals possessed larger brains than modern humans, the size alone does not necessarily correlate with cognitive capabilities. The Neanderthal brain, though impressive in volume, displayed structural differences when compared to the anatomically modern human brain. Research suggests that while Neanderthals had a larger posterior brain region associated with vision and spatial awareness, their frontal lobes, crucial for complex thinking, planning, and decision-making, were relatively smaller and less developed than those in Homo sapiens. The organization and connectivity of the brain are pivotal factors in determining cognitive abilities. Modern humans, with their more advanced frontal lobes, exhibit enhanced cognitive functions such as abstract thinking, problem-solving, and social cooperation. This difference in brain organization likely contributed to the varying adaptive strategies between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, potentially influencing the latter's ability to thrive and innovate. While Neanderthals were certainly not lacking in cognitive abilities, the nuanced structural distinctions in brain organization may have played a role in the ultimate success of anatomically modern humans in navigating a changing environment, developing sophisticated tools, and establishing complex social structures. The interplay between brain size and organization sheds light on the intricate evolution of cognitive capacities in hominin species. Neanderthals possessed a unique auditory prowess that set them apart from modern Homo sapiens. A symphony of sensory marvels unfolded within the intricate curves of their ear structures, granting them a heightened sensitivity to mid-range frequencies. Imagine the prehistoric landscape echoing with the rustle of leaves, the crackling of distant fires, and the subtle whispers of wildlife. A world alive with an acoustic kaleidoscope that Neanderthals navigated with unparalleled finesse. In the hidden recesses of their robust skulls, the Neanderthal ear harbored secrets of adaptation tuned to frequencies that allowed them to detect subtle nuances in their environment. Whether it was the gentle hum of a predator in the distance or the melodic cadence of their communal communication, these ancient beings experienced an auditory panorama that transcended the capabilities of their Homo sapiens successors. This heightened sensitivity to mid-range frequencies not only shaped their interaction with the natural world, but also fostered a unique social cohesion. Neanderthal communities, bound by the subtle vibrations of their vocalizations, forged connections in the unseen symphony of sound. As we delve into the echoes of the past, 
The distinctive ear structures of Neanderthals unveil a chapter in the evolution of our auditory legacy, reminding us that in the dance of adaptation, each note played a crucial role in the harmonious survival of our enigmatic kin. In antiquity, our ancestors harbored immune systems distinct from those of contemporary humans, rendering them more vulnerable to specific diseases. Diverse environmental factors, evolutionary pressures, and limited exposure to certain pathogens shape the intricacies of ancient immune responses. Unlike the sophisticated immunity mechanisms developed over centuries, these early immune systems lacked the robust defenses we enjoy today. This heightened susceptibility made our forebears more prone to infectious diseases that could have severe consequences for their health. The ancient immune landscape was influenced by factors such as a nomadic lifestyle, limited contact with other populations, and variable living conditions. These circumstances led to a less diverse and adaptable immune system, leaving individuals more exposed to infections prevalent in their immediate surroundings. As societies evolved and human interactions became more complex, so too did our immune defenses. The modern human immune system has evolved to handle a broad spectrum of pathogens, thanks to increased genetic diversity and exposure to a wider range of microbes. The height difference between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals is a subject of ongoing research and debate among anthropologists. Generally, studies suggest that Neanderthals were robust and had a stocky build, with males averaging around 5 feet 5 inches and females around 5 feet 1 inch. In contrast, Homo sapiens tend to have a more slender and taller stature. The average height of early modern humans was likely around 5 feet 9 inches for males and 5 feet 5 inches for females. These estimations, however, can vary based on skeletal remains and regional differences. It is important to note that height alone may not capture the full complexity of anatomical and physiological differences between the two species, as factors such as body proportions, skeletal morphology, and adaptation to different. Environments also play a role in understanding the distinctions between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals.